Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Problem Number 17. A uniform charge, uniformly charged conducting sphere of uh, 1.2 meter diameter has surface charge density 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square. So we have a metallic uh, charged sphere with a radius of Uh, surface charge density is 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square. So, surface charge density sigma is 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square. So, microcoulomb is to be taken care of. Uh, find the net charge on the sphere part A and then part B total electric flux leaving the surface. So, very simple, very simple. We have a metallic uh, sphere with some charge, let us suppose positive charge. Surface charge density is given 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square and radius is also given. We have to find out total charge of this uh, sphere. Uh, that is part A. Now, uh, if uh, sigma is the surface charge density, meaning charge per unit area, okay, so sigma is charge per unit area, that would mean total charge is equal to sigma charge density into total area. And total area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Okay, 4 pi r square. So we just need to substitute the values. So this implies total charge is equal to sigma 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square. 8.1 microcoulomb per meter square into 4 pi r square. 4 pi, okay, pi is 3.14. 4 into 3.14 into r square. r is 0 0.6 meters. So, R square is 0 0.6 square meter square, okay, R square, so meter will have a square. So, meter square and meter square cancels out, meter square and meter square cancels out. So, we are left with Q equal to 8.1 into 4 into 3.14 into 0 0.6 whole, uh, square. I have already worked it out. This is 36.62, 36.62 microcoulombs, okay, microcoulomb is the unit. Or you can write 36.62 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. So total charge of the sphere, conducting sphere is 36.62 microcoulombs or 36.62 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. Then in part B, we have to find out uh, total electric flux leaving the surface, okay, total electric flux leaving the surface. So if we have this conducting sphere positively charged, let us suppose it is positively charged, positively charged conducting sphere, then if I draw a few feeler lines, now you must be aware in this spherical symmetry feeler lines are radially outward. So these are some feeler lines and then uh, flux leaving the surface, flux leaving the surface. If we consider any closed surface around this uh, uh, spherical, uh, around this spherical body, any closed surface of any uh, uh, shape and size, then flux uh, through that closed surface is same as flux leaving the surface. If you consider any crazy looking closed surface, flux through any closed surface enclosing the sphere is same and is equal to flux leaving the surface. So all we need to do is find out flux through any closed uh, surface which we can consider as Gaussian surface. So uh, we'll use Gauss law for that. Flux through any closed surface which is same as flux leaving the surface is charge enclosed by the surface divided by epsilon 0. Now, charge enclosed by any of these surfaces is total charge of the sphere, which we just found is 36.62 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs divided by epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. So, I am using uh, charge as well as epsilon 0 in SI system. So, what we will get will be also in SI system, 36.62 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. So phi flux through any closed surface and this flux leaving, the clo uh, leaving this uh, spherical surface is, I already worked it out, this comes out to be 4.15, 4.15 into 10 to the power 6, okay, into 10 to the power 6.